Hey YouTube, my name is Chris Patrick and I'm a competitive shooter. Um, I've been watching other people's YouTube videos and I've been finding them really helpful for me getting into the competitive sports. Um, so I was thinking about making my own shooting videos and showing you guys, you know, um, everything that I do from mental training to physical training and um, trying to answer any questions along the way. I'm a relatively new competitive shooter. I just shot my match last Sunday and uh, that was way too much fun. So. Um, my goal is to become a national champion and I thought I'd bring you guys along and uh, try and answer some questions along the way. If you have any questions throughout the entire process just go ahead and put them down in the comments. Um, I'll be trying to make some videos after every single one of my competitions to show you guys what I've learned and just post up some match videos. So if you've never shot before um, and you're looking like what would it be like or if you've shot a lot and you're trying to get a little bit better just trying to share my knowledge and uh, bring some new shooters in hopefully. So um, this is episode one again and um, this is going to be all about my equipment that I use in the match. So I'll briefly go over everything that I own, about how much it is, and uh, what sports I use them for. So um, here's my equipment. Alright, so here's a real brief overview of all the stuff I have, and then I'll go piece by piece just to kind of show you guys. Um, down here you guys can see some magazines for the uh, Glock 17 right there. Then the uh, Ruger 2245, I've got only two magazines right now, trying to get some more. This is a CERT training pistol, it's shaped just like the Glock, but it's not an actual gun. There is our FNH USA SLP Mark I, long name I know, but that's our shotgun. And there is an STI Custom AR-15. Got a couple other goodies over here, uh, one is my Peltor Tactical. Uh, I think it's like 6S, and uh, there's electronic earphones, custom molded earbuds, a pen, this is a CED 7000 shot timer. Um, this is a lot of stuff I'm naming off, and I'll go one by one, but also I'll try and put all this stuff in the annotation. Um, here's some clear gas glasses, um, pretty hard to see, just for indoor shooting, and then here's my new Oakleys, the flak jackets, um, and I love those, I'm going to get some clear lenses for them some lens cleaner, the flak jacket case, and um, my holster. The holster and mag pouches right there are Velcro, and I'm actually wearing the inner um, Velcro part. So they just kind of, you put the other one in as a normal belt, and then you put that on, on it. Um, there's some AR-15 mags, and uh, there's my Glock sport shooting bag. And uh, so here all, here's all this stuff, and um, I'm gonna go ahead and run by it one by one. All right, let's get down to business. Here is my Glock 17. Chamber's empty. Try fire to prove it. Okay, so this is my Glock 17. Um, I've done a bit of work on the trigger and I've uh, added some extra True Glow sights. Um, if you guys want to, I can do another video showing you more about my Glock or what I've done to it. But right now it's just a, a Gen 4 Glock 17. So if you guys want to know what I've done, uh, let me know. This is a CERT training pistol not actually a Glock but it does accept Glock mags you can actually put them in so you can practice everything and um, just to show you it just has a laser on it and so it shoots exactly where the sights are so really handy tool um, pretty cool for dry fire and I'll show in my next um, another video with dry fire I'll show you some really cool applications for this um, this is one of the applications they're um, small targets so this is like an IPSC target and uh, you probably can't see it, but it says 15 yards right here. So you hang these guys up inside, and at 10 feet, this is what the target looks like at 15 yards. So really handy tool um, if you don't always have a big backyard, you know, just to put a bunch of paper targets up there and practice. So um, that's a good dry fire tool. Um, this is the Ruger 2245. Um, if just anyone doesn't know, um, for a uh, for non center fire pistol, you never want to dry fire it. So just make sure if you have a rim fire, don't dry fire it. Um, but this is a good gun. We just got this, and I've shot my friends a lot, but I haven't shot this one yet. Um, so if you guys want to know more about this too, I'll let you know. Um, I think we're getting another um, front sight for that. That's uh, kind of like the true glows on my Glock. But other than that, pretty much just gonna shoot it stock. Um, just saves on round costs. Um, next, going to my ears. These are my ear protection and uh, fold out. They have little uh, microphones here and volume switches. 
If you've never tried um, electronic earphones, um, it's a lot nicer. You can hear what people are talking and everything, when, but as soon as the decibel level raises beyond a certain point, it completely cuts out and it's just like wearing normal earmuffs. So pretty cool, but you don't have to yell at each other to just hear each other. Um, that's probably my second favorite option though. This right now is my favorite. Um, these are Radians custom molded earplugs. Um, these are about $15. I got them on Cabela's.com. You mix some stuff up, put it in your ears, let it sit for 10 minutes, and you get custom earplugs. I love these. Um, for some reason, I can still hear fine with them, um, like hear people, but totally doesn't hurt my ears with shooting. And by the way, the cert is about $400. My Glock is about $500. And uh, this right, and the Ruger 2245 is about $300. Um, just to let you guys know, the Glock 17, you can compete about any sport you can think of. Um, and the Ruger, you have some uh, 22, um, more like 22 um, alley uh, competitions, but Speed Steel is one you can also compete with. And so it's a little more limited, um, just because they're not shooting like um, as big of a round, you know. Um, but it's still a really fun gun, and it saves a lot of ammo cost. So definitely a good thing. Um, also right here are my other e um, eyes, and these are my Oakley flak jackets. I just got them, and I absolutely love them. They're they're abs they're just fantastic. Um, so here is my other right here. These are just some a cheap pair of Radians, clear for indoor shooting. Um, always want to protect your eyes. And um, then over there, I just got my case. Um, a good pen is always something to good to have, and also a sharpie. I don't have that here, but um, just good something to have um, at the range. These orange things you saw, these are shotgun dummy rounds. So I have a few of them, so I can practice loading it without actually having to load, you know, live rounds in my gun. So that's good. Then here, chamber's clear. This is the FNH USA SLP Mark One. Awesome shotgun. Um, I can't say enough good things about this tactical shotgun. Semi-automatic. Um, this is pretty spendy. I'm pretty sure it was about a grand. Um, I'll put that. I'll put what actually was um, down the annotations. But uh, great shotgun. Um, the rounds are just expensive, you know. And uh, I'm 19, so I'm trying to buy most of my stuff, and that's why the 22 and the 9 millimeter make a lot more sense. But for three-gun competition, um, you do have to shoot all three. Um, but you can get a pistol caliber carbine. So um, to show you this one, this is a chamber clear. This is a 223 or a 556 five, with a nice compensator there on the end. Um, and we've got a Nikon scope on it. It's a 1 to 4x zoom. Uh, this is an STI custom rifle, and man, it's, it's a wonderful thing to shoot. Uh, the trigger's absolutely great on it, and uh, that one also, haven't shot enough. There's too much fun. Um, lastly, you got my, this part I can kind of show you. You put the Velcro on your inside, and then this one goes on the outside of it pretty easy. Just kind of strap it around, and it allows you to uh, put your holster in it, you know, put that there. Put your mags in the pouches, and uh, you know, all of that. You can put it in. Um, really handy thing to have when you're out on the range and you have to, you know, use the restroom or whatnot. You just pull it off, set it on the table, and you're gone. So that's super easy. Um, if you guys ever want to check that out, it's a little spendy, but if you check it out, CR Speed. That's definitely one I recommend, and it is fantastic. So if you guys have any other questions about any of my gear and you want me to do any individual videos, you know, showing me shoot the shotgun, shoot the AR, shoot my Glock, oh, plenty of videos shooting my Glock, um, but then just let me know and uh, I'll go ahead and make another video. But um, that pretty much covers the first video, so um, there's my equipment. If you guys have any questions whatsoever, put them in the comments. See you guys.